getting my nails done for the first time since December, right before Christmas. I also just requested an appointment to get my hair done again. I need a haircut. My hair is like super long. I'll just shape it a little bit. I got here super early sitting in this little spot. If I sit there early, at least I can pick a color. I'm thinking kind of like either want royal blue or green, almost like in the middle of sage green and lion green, like something fun for, for summer. doing a full glow up makeover today and I wanted to start off by mentioning that I have some product already in my hair I have this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil that I got on Amazon um, to grow my hair out and honestly I really do feel like it's helped a lot and I have hair oils with different vitamins this is this container is a Chris and S scalp and hair milk oil which I do recommend but I finished that a long time ago so I put like my almond vitamin E and I have the container for that one but it has a bunch of vitamins that I just put in my hair when it's about time to wash it so today we're gonna be going over my essentials also products that I'm trying for the first time but mainly it's just things that I know work and things that have been working for me for a long time so that's gonna include skincare makeup hair care let's get into it I've been using these for years Purology hydrating shampoo and Purology hydrate conditioner these are my go-tos. I also use their mask, which I'm almost out of, but it just makes my hair super soft. I've been on a journey with like colored hair for years now, so I just always like making sure that I'm getting products that take care of that hair. And I actually talked to my hairstylist and he agrees with Pureology being good. Um, I also got this Gem Light Color Wash Shampoo. It's the color amber, copper, brown because my hair is copper. It's been copper for months now since last fall and it's almost summer. So I'm going to continue the copper. I think when I make the next appointment for my hair, I'm also going to get the conditioner and I'm also going to get a toner. So that way, hopefully the full summer, my hair can look on point. Off camera, I did a deodorant and also this ingrown hair serum to prevent ingrown hairs and it keeps you smooth. I actually got this at European Wax Center. So they sell them there but i'm sure that there's other serums that help in the mornings the first thing i do um, my cellar water which is this bioderma i've been using this forever now highly recommend it's french if you ever end up in france and specifically paris every single pharmacy has so much of this it is my holy grail in the mornings and at night when i'm if i need to double cleanse after putting on makeup but with the cotton pad right after doing that go in with the ordinary caffeine solution because i have chronic your eye bags and circles and i swear to you there's no cure for that i'm sure filler can help some people but this just makes my under eyes feel just do a little dab it makes my under eyes feel like awake and it actually does firm firm them i let that dry a little bit like maybe while i'm brushing my teeth which i already did that and then i go in with the la roche posay eye cream really really good for just sensitive eyes had eye creams before burn or just don't feel good or too heavy so this has been so good and it wears really well on their makeup so i do that really really keep my eyes hydrated i go in with spf which i've been using this neutrogena ultra sheer moisturizing face serum 16 up um i actually randomly found this at the pharmacy and decided to try it and since it is a serum it, it's white but it doesn't leave a white cast so i do that first before moisturizing and honestly guys the glow that this gives me is insane and this is coming from someone who's used the l to md and the super goop both of those are really good too but for the price point this is the shit some days before doing the spf i'll go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid i do this at night too and i get like the jade rollers and just really go in it's also really clutch my handy dandy moisturizer because this stuff right here will last forever just throwing this out there this is not sponsored at all but i have been using curology 
for years now. Like since I moved to the Northeast in 2018, I've been using Curology. This is my custom formula. It has tretinoin, pronounced things like how I see it in Spanish and English, just to see what works best. This usually has kept my skin super clear. I have like a little breakout right now just because I slept over somewhere that didn't have fresh sheets and that was my fault, but we're not even gonna talk about that. This at night, I swear to God, has been my lifesaver. When you order it online, you also can place the order for rich moisturizer or the regular moisturizer. And I think they have SPF now and they have like balms now, emergency spot patches, like pimple patches. So it's like everything you could possibly need if you don't want to go to a dermatologist uh, because dermatologists work for them. And you can message them if you have questions or if you need to customize your formula again. But all their products like, you know, are fragrance free super gentle on your face and yeah they just keep my skin looking on point i needed to give them their flowers cordy balm lip balm i actually like the stick better than this but this is the only thing that keeps the very oral dermatitis away from my mouth because that has happened to me before and other chapsticks are like so addicting and they put i don't know just weird things in them to make you want more and more and more this one feels super just hydrating in the winter specifically i love using this you guys can just read that yourself but i'll do it now so i can show you like a heavy cream also super super hydrating and it gives you that glass skin effect. Just look at the glow I have going on right now. And this is basically my pre-makeup glow. Elf Lash Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. I didn't even know you could use it on your brows. I usually use castor oil on my brows to grow them out, but I've been using this and it's way, 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 way more affordable than the other lash serum. And I think it has helped a little bit. I mean, it definitely doesn't irritate me and I definitely see like a difference. It's not gonna be like magic or dramatic. And to remove my makeup, the e.l.f. Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I was late to the cleansing balm game, but I'm so glad I got this one because it's so affordable and I swear it melts everything off. Um, when I need some tanning glow, I use the Tanologist drops so i'll mix that usually with a little bit of moisturizer i might put some more on right now just so you guys can see feeling really desperate i'll do it on the rest of my body but the fact that it's clear makes it hard to do like a full tan with your whole body unless you're like a pro but it works great just for the face like you'll start seeing like this really natural bronze the glow and use it but make sure you put it on your neck as well and I'm gonna wash your hands right after. The more simplified my skincare routine was, the better my skin was. Cause for the longest time, I was trying like everything under the sun that was marketed to me on the internet and it was destroying my skin. So we're gonna put this pimple patch on. I like these because they're clear. So it makes it a little less noticeable. Hair has gotten so long. And I noticed a lot of people that did copper hair, they changed it right back to dark, like not that long after, but about it. And my hairstylist was like, either way, you're gonna need upkeep if you have dark hair because my natural hair is lighter. It's like a dirty blonde. So it was like, if you're gonna do that, you might as well just keep the fun color, which I agreed. I've been using this Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. Is that on my hair? I'm just gonna scrunch it in to make it like soft and conditioned. They're like go-to hair products, obviously the Living Proof. I know that there's something going on with dry shampoos right now. I haven't figured out a new one to use. This has just been like my holy grail forever. Spray I use Avita Air Control. This was like a hairstylist used this on me when I was still living in Florida. And this is the kind of hairspray that it does not leave your hair crunchy. I really, really like the smell. I don't know how to describe it either. It's almost like minty. Sexy hair, heat protectant right before I blow dry. I believe this also has heat protectant, but can never be too careful. Let me go have breakfast. I'll come right back to blow dry our hair. All right, so I let it mostly air dry. I'm gonna section it out into pieces for air dry it with my rub one. I'm gonna put it in rollers cause that's the best way for me, I think to maintain kind of that blowout look for a few days. Just 
Thanksgiving George Washington right now. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. All right, there's like a rule of thumb that if you're trying to show someone something or film something, <laughs> things are gonna fall or not go according to plan, but a rough estimate, a rough look as to how I get this kind of blowout effect. This is what keeps my hair looking nice for like a few days. Wait, these are the rollers I use. I'm pretty sure I got them at Ulta Beauty. I have a ton of them like on Amazon or at the store, but I'm pretty sure I got them like at the actual Ulta Beauty store. Like I know some of my girlies are able to do their makeup with their hair down, but I am not one of those girlies. We're still good. My hair did cool down, so I waited for it to cool down. So that way if I clip it, It'll just still chill and keep that shape. I have these little clips. So I already did my skincare. Normally, depending, some days I just wear tinted moisturizer and a little bit of the Glossier Future Dew. Sometimes I don't wear tinted moisturizer or foundation at all. And I just do concealer and like my eyebrows and all that. Some days I use foundation. I've been using this ColourPop Pretty Fresh. It's supposed to be a dupe of the Armani Luminous Silk. I've never tried the Armani, but this has been so good for the price point oh so since i just replenished i just got a sephora box and i replenished my glossier future dew which i wasn't sure if i was going to because i thought i was gonna love the elf one so much that i would never need the future dew again i was wrong the future dew is everything guys you know for everybody because i know it is an oil serum hybrid you know it is oil so if you have oily skin this is probably not for you this is tried and true like i swear it mixes so well with foundation with um tinted moisturizer just on its own it's just incredible this is the tinted moisturizer i use that i also just replenish it's this smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer it does have spf 25 so apart from the spf i already put on this also has spf and this is what it looks like I use the shade light. Just know that this works. And when I know something works and it's like a part of my staple, why do something else? These two, the Glossier Future Dew and the Halo are my go-tos. And I swear they make everything blend so smoothly. Some days I go and add foundation or e.l.f. So, so we're going to do the Future Dew. So I do like two pumps of that. That's what it looks like. And a little bit of Mashbox. I just mix that in. I just put that on like with my hands and just lay that on. So this is kind of like a no coverage kind of vibe, but you can you can keep adding a little bit of this. But this is perfect for everyday wear. So that we can get a little more coverage today, I'm gonna add the pretty fresh ColourPop foundation. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. This one you can definitely build it up. The reason I am I don't go for the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter that much is because I'm pretty sure I got the wrong color. Ugh, I don't know. I got the light medium, but it feels very orangey. Like I'm gonna put just a little bit on just so you guys can see. I think if I just do a little bit like that, I'm fine. But some days I'm like, oh, let me put it everywhere, and then I look orange. So I don't know what's up with that. It's what my beauty sponge i'm gonna just put a little bit like on my face like that just kinda give you some extra coverage there and then we're gonna blend that out again i'm doing more of like more full coverage than i usually do normally i'm super just plain about this stuff but i just want to show you guys the glow that these products give me i die yeah this is why i need like all my hair out of my face like i cannot do my makeup like with my hair on my face you guys are seeing that right you guys are seeing this foundation and no you do not have to use all those products like i'm not even really here to be like buy this product like i really just want to share what's worked for me for so long that I don't need to constantly be buying new products or trying new things. Every once in a while, like every few months, I maybe try something new and I will today. I'm actually trying something new today. I'm a big fan. If something just works, then only 
spend money on makeup or skincare once it's running low and you need to get a new one. You don't feel like you have to try a million new things because it's trending. Okay, I'm gonna do the concealer. So first I do this LA Girl Pro Conceal and it's basically just like a color corrector for my under eyes. There's one that's even more orange than this. And I learned this from Priscilla Ono who does Rihanna's makeup and she's like an incredible makeup artist to just always color correct um, dark circles. She always has to use Durazno color, which is in Spanish, it's kind of like a orangey color. But I think mine aren't that dark that I need like the full on orange. But I do like color correcting. My tried and true concealer, It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I cannot express to you how much this concealer changed my life. I went into Ulta Beauty one day looking for like a trendy concealer that I had seen all the influencers using on YouTube. And the lady that worked there was like this older lady. She was like, no, I have tried everything here. This is what works. But when she showed it to me, it was like in a little pot. Now it comes like this. I don't mind. I mean, I like the pot, but I don't mind this. I still use this little brush, which is an old MAC 194 SE brush. And this is like the smallest amount goes the longest way. The coverage on this is insane. Absolutely insane. So far gone are the days where I felt like I had to, where everyone thought we had to do that huge like triangle on our face. I don't know what that was about, but that never worked out well for me. <laughs> A little bit here. And I have the NARS concealer too, which is lighter than this one. This one's closer to my skin color. So old school NARS, but even this is just way too bright. Like I'll only use that if I really want to highlight certain parts of my face. Okay, so you guys are seeing like just all natural. That's looking like, still looking like my skin. Flower still glowy and still creamy. Pause. I'm gonna start on my eyebrows so that they can start drying out. I'm just gonna brush them up. And what I've been doing recently, I have this Urban Decay Brow Blade. I was still using the, the Anastasia Dip Brow to like to do the under eyes, but I decided since this actually glides on really well when I don't have any wax or brow gel on yet, I do this first just to underline the bottom part. Mind you, I am not a makeup artist. This has just been what works for me. So that's like really underlined. And I have like the nice shape to it. And I go in with the wax. I am so excited about it because I ran out. It's the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I've also used the Patrick Ta one, but that one I noticed I usually have to spray it first. I recently ran out of this and my eyebrows were struggling without this. Not doing well, guys. I even tried like gel or other products. It's just not, it was not doing it like this does. So I usually just squish my spoolie till it's like this, dabbing it in. And then I brush it up. I'm just gonna give them just like a little shape. This is before them getting filled in. I do like doing this. Yeah, I used to do this first so that it can like properly dry out. But I realized that foundation or tinted moisturizer and all that has to go first or else it's gonna get really weird and messed up. I'm trying not to put too much on either because you don't want it to look crusty. We're gonna let that dry out. We're gonna shape it and fix it in a bit, but we're first gonna let it dry out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've actually been using this e.l.f. putty bronzer for a bit. It's small, I dipped the brush in there, but I'm trying a new product today and I'm so freaking excited. It's the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the color Happy Soul. This is my first Rare Beauty product. I didn't get in with the blushes and like everything. that Everyone's already been on this. Again, it's nothing against Rare Beauty, nothing against anything. I just, I try not to buy new products if I have things that work. And like that bronzer was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's, let's try this out. So I'm just doing a little on my forehead. A little bit like right here above my cheekbones. So that we can rise it up. And then I'm just going to do a little on my nose. Just to give it some color. We're not contouring. We're just adding some color. It glides so smoothly. I will say that. Like it's gliding so smoothly right now. And I just love like how compact and portable I can carry this around anywhere. 
So I'm gonna start blending that out. So far it is blending like a dream. I might have put way too much down here to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that all out. I'll come back to that part. I'm gonna blend this out because I don't want it to dry out. I feel like this is blending in like really, really easily. Looking cute. I'm trying to blend up and not down. I had a forehead for days. I feel like this color is really nice. I to tell on camera and in person. I think in person it looks nice and warm and beautiful. On camera it looks a little lighter. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I'll look in the mirror and be like, damn. And then I look on my phone or like my front camera and my front camera is like, yeah, no. Someone's lying to us. Is it iPhone or is it the mirrors? But yeah, it doesn't look like it's removing any of my other products. I'm a fan. I'm here for this. I get the hype. Wow. I love it. Okay. Hello. Glow. We're going to mattify a little. I don't want to look too sweaty. So I got like the actual beauty blender little puff. Looking for the elf one because the elf one is way more affordable. I think this one was like $16. The elf one is like $3. This one's like hefty. Of course. Or translucent powder. Laura Mercier. I just wanted to see if it was like a certain color. I mean, everyone who knows makeup, I feel like you know what this is. This stuff lasts forever. I kind of just boop, boop. But you're gonna see just how smooth my under eye becomes. Like just magic. We're still gonna have the glow in certain places, but I'm gonna just dab that on my forehead too. You can kind of see just how mattifying that is. Stunning, darling, stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I think this is pretty dry. I just kind of tap it in with my fingers, kind of brush it out. Don't come at me for the spooey. I know it's looking rough. I do clean it, it's just like with the wax. I get so screwed. Other side of the brow plate, and then I just kind of the little sparse sections. I just add little hair-like strokes. I will say after having this some time, it does show up a little red. But then it dries out black. Or not black, but you know, like taupe. But I like having the double side because now I can just finish off the brows. And I really want to get them laminated and tinted since I've been in New York City. I don't know why in the past I was like, eh. I just feel like it would make my life so much easier, even if it lasts for like a few weeks. And then I'm gonna let that dry out before I do the final adjustments. I love just a dark eyebrow for every day. All right, now that they dried out, usually what I do is I go like this and I just kind of shape them so that they're not spiky. You know, we don't want spiky eyebrows. We want them to be like sticking up a little bit and shaped properly. So it's kind of like in between the 2016 brow and the feather brow. These are really pigmented. Like really, really, really pigmented. So you just need a little bit. I'm not gonna go too crazy. But just adding that already completely, I feel like changes your whole makeup game. But there really is like good makeup brushes on Amazon. Like if you just buy like the whole pack, you're still using your makeup brushes from God knows when or they don't match or anything like that. For like 30 bucks, you can get like a good package of makeup brushes. And if you are interested, I can link the one I got, but I gotta find that. I had them for a while, but I feel like they were great. And that's basically it. I'm just going to add some shimmer just because I think that would be fun. Can you see that? Like just unreal. Unreal. Like Patrick Ta, you are a genius. An evil genius. All your products are just so beautiful and just so stunning. And that's another reason why I just hadn't tried the Rare Beauty blushes because I have the Patrick Ta ones and they work for me so it's like until those run out and i can try something this maybelline elastin drama eyeliner i just recently tried this for the first time because i was just using brown eyeshadow my entire high school days college days i used like the liquid eyeliner and i went in on that. this stuff right here 
this is just the brown brun color and i swear it glides like a dream it just glides even with the eyeshadow like even though it was less maintenance than using liquid eyeliner and glide as much and it required like putting water in it and everything this is just like a cream and it comes with this little brush so i'm just kind of dabbing that onto the brush and then just cleaning it up on the lid and then i just go like yeah. it literally just glides i was so shook when i tried this for the first just try to clean it up eyelash curler that's a given i've gone through a couple of lash primers so far i am convinced that they do help with mascara like just adding the extra tackiness to make them longer and thicker i've tried the tart one i tried i think that like the expensive ones and i was like all right let me try this sephora lash craft the tart one i feel like dried out way too quick let's try this one out first impressions a sticky tacky feel so that when you do a gold put mascara on it's a little easier and i feel like it also helps for it not to get on your eyelids as much you're supposed to put the mascara on like right after i have two of the tart uh lights camera lashes i have the black and the brown the brown is pretty dark so it's not really like a light brown i kind of wanted like a light brown and just something that was noticeable but i do feel like the elf lash serum has been helping and then i recently also got this creamy maybelline tattoo studio crayon gel so liner i'm trying to find the color but it's brown and i barely ever use like bottom eyeliner at all so it was like risky for me to get this but i just use it just to kind of dab it on my lower lashes a little bit you can kind of see the difference there and here i have two patrick ta blush duos one is she's that girl which is this pink one and then the other one is she's blushing which is kind of like this brownish not gonna lie you can tell which one i use more she's that girl is the one i use the most I do like adding a little bit of this she's blushing like up here just like a little dab ombre effect so what patrick does which was kind of mind-blowing to me he does powder you could do it either way you could use either or you don't have to use both but the way i've been liking to do it because he posts videos on his instagram he does the powder first just putting a little on my hand so it's not so strong and i'm gonna get a little bit of this pink And this is why I just haven't used other blushes because, I mean, this has just been working out perfectly for me. Can you tell I'm a blush girly? There's no such thing as too much. I'm just getting there. I put it on my nose. I put a little bit up here. And he gets a wet beauty sponge and then puts that on the cream part and just dabs that on because right now we're a little mattified. But as soon as he does that and just taps it in, it brings the glow right back, baby. Bring that glow right back. And it's just the most stunning blush glow. So that is why I have just stuck with this until this runs out. <laughs> I just don't see why I would need to buy other blushes. Now, I do have eyelashes, but some of those I really only wear if it's like a really big event or something. I barely ever throw on lashes. They're all like natural lashes, like from the pharmacy, nothing crazy. We're gonna do the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, of course. I also got something new from Rare Beauty. It is the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in Worthy. I love the packaging. I love that it's like a little pink. All right, first impressions. I love that it's a roll up. Oh my God, like the fact that it rolls up, that's everything to me. Uh, I'm loving how it's gliding on right now. This is like exactly my lip color. Like what? I don't think I've ever 
found the lip liner that was like my exact lip color. Like, are you guys seeing this? That is insane. Like, obviously it's a little darker, but that is so insane. This is like my perfect nude. I am so shook it right now. These NYX lipsticks on top. This one is Desert Rose. This one is Cali. I'm gonna do Desert Rose, or I'm gonna do both. Let's do a little bit of Cali. Just add that on. And a little bit of Desert Rose. Right now it's super mattified. I'm gonna add gloss. I love you, Patrick Ta. Made your volume pumping gloss. And this is the color Full Syringe. First got this because I've gotten different packages from Patrick Ta. Gifted. I didn't know how to how I was gonna feel about it because I'm just not a gloss girly, or I wasn't a gloss girly since like middle school maybe. And even back then it was like the worst glosses in history and they would just get stuck everywhere. So I just stopped wearing glosses. But when I got this, mm, it smells so good. This is my crack. Like I wear this, lip liner and just this. Mm. And it really does give like a plumping effect. And it doesn't feel like lip gloss it's not sticky at all it almost feels like a lip oil i just feel like i love these products right oh my god this hair perfume see how long my hair is like oh i'm on my tippy toes right now just see how long it is oh my god this hair perfume smells so good Honey infused hair perfume. Oh, yeah. All I need is my Mason Margiela bubble bath perfume and I will be the epitome of clean girl. I'm sorry, but who is she? It's finally time. I am getting my hair done. I am getting a root touch up, a haircut, and then I'm gonna spice it up again with this copper, but like just mo a lot more vibrant, much needed. I brought my makeup with me. This is the bag I've been using at home without my vanity and I bring it in the bathroom and the bedroom and the office, whenever I feel like doing my makeup that day. So luckily I'm able to just bring that. I'll do a little car makeup situation. I'm just trying to get there on time. That's the most important part. And then, it, or I'm trying to get there early so I could do my makeup. That's the most important part. But even if I get there just on time and just walk in, that's fine too. Usually the girly that likes to put on makeup before the hair appointment, even if it gets messed up a little bit, like around here, it's kind of hard to sit there for so long, just staring at yourself looking like a lizard. <laughs> Let's get my hair done. I'm going to the color lab. It's in Stanford, Connecticut. There's several color labs. This is the color lab, Jimmy, and he is incredible. His at name on Instagram is at King of Balayage. And then he also has the color lab Instagram. So I'll put both of those on the screen so you guys can follow him. And if you're in that area, I highly, highly recommend him. I'm so glad I found him when I moved up to the Northeast because he has been my hair person through literally bright blonde, platinum hair, purple hair, pink hair, copper hair. Like we've gone through like everything and back. Yeah, let's do it. So this ended up being like a car <laughs> makeup. I really don't have to do this. I honestly just want to. I like looking a little fresh. the quickest makeup ever. Looking like a little cherry dessert. <laughs> <laughs> it always looks much more red when it's on. I know. Warm. I'm here for it though. Yeah. I feel like I'm slowly coming back to life. We got the roots done, we got the gloss done. I'm sitting here with the Olaplex mask and a Moroccan hair oil. 
Looking real cute, real cute. Y'all ain't ready. Ah! Finally, I feel alive again. I feel myself again. He, he always gets it. Always just gets what's in my mind and just does it. It feels light. It feels really, really healthy. I got a trim, so it still feels long. I didn't hack it off. My little curtain bangs. Touched up the roots. Hot girl summer. I am so ready for that.